Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you what is particle system. Go over this uh, buttons over here. So just over this, over this uh, button over here, which is a button for creating and generating particles. So let's define what is a particle systems. It's used to simulate effects like fire, dust, clouds, and smoke. And for creating hair, fur, grass, and other strand based objects, when a particle system is applied to an object, it causes the object to generate and emit particles which may be configured to display in a multitude of ways, creating static and animated patterns or as models of characters, for example, like an army of soldiers or a swarm of insects. Let's move on to show you something very interesting about uh, this particle systems. So over there, go over here in properties editor, click uh, search for the button, this button, and click on it in order to show the panel to control different factors for uh, particles system. It's set by default to set up uh, a default particle system, open a new scene in Blender as I have created in our tutorial, delete the default cube object and add a UV sphere. So just delete the default cube. I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using UV sphere like this. Click on it to show UV sphere. Just zoom in and click on this uh, button for particle properties. It's gonna be showing this uh, menu. Particles are emitted from vertices, the faces, or from the volume of a mesh. Using UV sphere provides a reasonable number of vertices and faces from which to emit the particles. Leave the default values for sphere as they appear in the properties editor. So just I'm gonna be adding. Click on this plus button in order to switch to a new panel for particle system to control your uh, particles where should be where uh, should be equated and where uh, should to go so with uv sphere selected go to the properties to particle uh, particles buttons click on the plus sign as shown here in our example to add a particle system we have added it over here in this panel. Particles buttons open, displaying the tabs that control the system. Blender has automatically created a default particle system for the UV sphere. So just I will explain what that means, and we have some different uh, factors and buttons in this panel. Note the default type emitter as shown here. So, and the particle settings, we have particle settings, they added a system of particles. The alternative system is a hair over the type hair is a unique system, which will be discussed later in this tutorial. To see the default particle system in action with the most castle and 3D report editor, press the play button. When pressing the, the spacebar button, it's going to be playing, the, playing it as animation to move the particles. This runs animation sequence showing particles being generated. The timeline editor as shown in our example over there is displayed across the bottom of the screen over there to show you the animation of this uh, last the blue line timeline cursor moves the animation plays with the uh, as the animation plays with the emitter object selected the animation will play showing particles as small white circles being emitted and falling towards the bottom of the screen so let me continue explain the animation plays for 250, 250 frames then repeats again press escape to stop the animation if you want 
So pressing the right arouse uh, on the keyboard with the mouse cursor in the timeline editor or by clicking the right mouse button. Holding and dragging the blue line cursor in the timeline editor as shown here. You can hold it and drag it like this. Particles will be displayed as they occur at frame 63 or something like that. The end of the, this animation is uh, it's gonna be appearing at uh, after the frame 200. As shown in our example, uh, this is going to be demonstrating a simple particle system being applied. Particles emitted from the sphere cascade down. This occurred since there is a gravitational effect applied. So in the properties editor, sim buttons, gravity tab. So just uh, scroll down and go over gravity tab. So in order to remove the gravitational effect as shown in our example over here, just go over field, wait, scroll down, then we have gravity, so set it to zero like this, or drag the slider to the right to add the gravitational effect and move it, uh, just uh, move the slider to the left side in order to make it, uh, to set it to zero as shown here. So hit the spacebar button is going to be playing the animation and emitting the your particles in different directions like this now i'm going to be explaining the, the emissions tab as shown in our example this tab uh, helps you to control particle display in 3d viewport editor in the emissions tab by adjusting values as follows we have number seed frame start and different other factors and features uh, that gonna be controlled in your particles uh, motion in 3d space the number what is uh, what is this factor uh, gonna be controlling the number is the total number of particles to be emitted over the length of animation so just uh, hit the space power button to apply the animation again so just i want to drag the slider just a tiny bit it's gonna be adding much more particles over there for example uh, if you want to set it to five five hundred this is gonna be controlling the number of uh, particles emitted just uh, leave it as it is 500 or if, if you want to add much more particles you can uh, just uh, drag the slider to to the left and to the right also we have the seed, the seed over there, the slider for seed, it's gonna be setting randomized emission variation, so just if you want to set like this, it's gonna be making a randomized emission variation, like uh, as you can see in the our example, the frame start, also let's move to this frame start, the frame start is the frame number in the animation to start emitting, Like this you can set it and for example start emitting from the frame 15 then hit enter so just go over the click using the right the left mouse button the your emission uh, is gonna be it's gonna be uh, begin at the frame 15 and the end at frame 200 you can set it to any frame you want so just we have a lifetime the lifetime is the number of frames in the animation that uh, particles which have been emitted will will display for for example set it to 20 and you can watch the animation again like this and uh, you can also pick up the difference so life, lifetime randomness this factor gives a lifetime random variation so just uh, drag the slider to 
to the left like this, to the right. And this factor is gonna be generating some uh, some random variation, controlling the emission of these particles in 3D space. And that's it for first part of particles system. Just I will leave the second part for next time, so thanks for watching.